Hello there viewers. My name is Mrs. Green and I'm helping the kids practice for parts in the play of Emmeline. Now just to sum up the play of Emmeline, let me tell you some of the story. Emmeline Bockelder Gurney was born to an impoverished family in Fayette, Maine in 1816. She was the fourth of five children. When she was only 13 years old she was sent off to work in a cotton mill in Lowell, MA so she could send home money to help her family. However within a year a manager of the mill took advantage of young, naive Emmeline and got her pregnant. Luckily she had an aunt that lived in Lynn, Massachusetts and so Emmeline went to stay with her aunt until she gave birth to her baby at the young age of 14. Her aunt arranged for the baby to be adopted. Now this episode continues on with the story after that. Now let me clarify to you that this supposedly is a true story, however, this play is mostly fictionalized except for a number of details. Hi Rose, you ready to practice our parts for the play of Emmeline? Sure thing, Summer. And I'll be playing the part of Reverend Owens and you, of course, Emmeline. Yes, Summer. Okay, hence another 14 years passes. The year is 1844. Therefore, at age 28, Emmeline marries George Chambers. They have a son together, however, after 20 years, George leaves Emmeline. Henceforth, Emmeline's son, at some point, also disappears out of her life. Now who knows what part Emmeline's father, mother and four siblings played in her adult life throughout the years. And it is the year 1878 and a very excited 62-year-old Emmeline is talking with Reverend Owens about her upcoming marriage to 48-year-old Leonard Gurney. Samir don't laugh. Let me get started, okay? Okay Rose, I'm sorry. Hi Reverend Owens, how are you doing? Why Emmeline, I'm just fine and dandy. How about you sweetheart, you're getting ready to be wed soon? Oh Reverend Owens, I can't tell you how ready I am to be wedded to my beloved Leonard. I can hardly believe that at this late stage in my life I would find such blissful happiness. Well my dear Emmeline you sure have found it all right haven't ya? You are one lucky gal, aren't you now? Yes, indeed I'm in Reverend Owens. I'm so glad you'll be performing in Leonard's marriage ceremony. We're much obliged, you know. Why yes my dear and you know it's no problem at all. I'm happy to do it. Now the date is set for next Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. and that is okay with you Reverend Owens. Sure thing my dear. Oh Mr. Owens you're a darling, let me hug you. I'll not argue that. Okay, so here that's it for part 15 of the story of Emmeline. Thanks for practicing with me. You're welcome, Rose, and thank you too. Sure thing, Summer. And viewers, thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned. Yes, viewers, please do and please subscribe.